Four in the corner with breaking news tonight. We have obtained documents that shed new light on the sex incident that happened inside a Lee County High School. Last year, several South Fort Myers High School football players had sex with a 15 year old girl inside a bathroom at that school, and her handwritten statement seems to suggest tonight that the sex was not consensual. Four in the corner investigator Lisa Greenberg showing you what she's uncovered tonight, and this was described in such graphic detail it's just painful to read. Absolutely, it was so graphic that some of it I can't even share with you guys on TV. For the first time now, we're learning how the girl in the bathroom described what happened. I showed her words to an attorney who says this raises questions about whether this was consensual. The Lee County Sheriff's Office incident report from a year ago said a 15 year old girl admitted to having sex with multiple male students in the school bathroom. Something like that should never happen in a high school. But a newly obtained statement taken during the investigation from the girl involved raises questions about if that sex was consensual. The girl told school administrators a student wanted to speak with her in the bathroom. Her statement says she told him if anyone found out, they'd get the wrong idea. That's when she writes a boy with his friend, whose name I don't know, proceeded to tell me to get him right. I told him no, but he continued to ask me, and at some point, I gave in. She then details a sex act. She writes how more boys started coming in and out of the bathroom, and one did not give up even when I said I didn't know him. She says he kept telling her, you're going to know me after this. She stopped arguing and gave in again. This same story played out over and over with other boys. It's rather horrific. I showed her statement to criminal defense attorney Peter Dennis. Looking at the statement, does this sound consensual to you? Based on this statement alone, she has not indicated that this is consensual at all. This statement is, is written in a way that reads very unconsensual. Last year, the Lee County Sheriff's Office said they completed their investigation and none of the boys who engaged in the sexual activity would be charged. But after obtaining the girl's statement, I reached out to the sheriff's office again to see why this isn't being investigated as a sexual assault. A spokesperson says, quote, a portion of this incident is still active and therefore we cannot comment at this time. There may have been other things involved in this investigation. Uh, there may have been other interviews. Dennis says no matter what. The psychological effect that this will have on this minor child will be something that she'll deal with for the rest of her life. Now, the girl involved in this case was a victim of human trafficking in the past and even says in her statement that she was triggered and began to disassociate because of this. Now, there has been one arrest in this case. The student who recorded the incident was charged for distributing the video, but the Lee County Sheriff's Office told us last year again that no one else will be charged. Lisa Greenberg, Fox 4, in your corner. All right, thank you, Lisa.